Well, this isn't Canada, but it's going to have to do. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. Uh, Jim and I, Jim's in the back here, there he is. We are up in northern Wisconsin. We should be driving to Canada right now. In fact, if we were driving there, we'd be passing ourselves, probably as we speak, but uh, that ain't happening. Borders closed, all that jazz, you know what's going on. So we are in northern Wisconsin. Jim and I are gonna fish for three days. I'm gonna head over and uh, fish with a couple other people while we're up here. So I've got five days of fishing up in northern Wisconsin. Looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, we've got good conditions. Um, should have some clouds moving in and out. It might brighten up this afternoon, but uh, yeah, we've got full moon coming up. We've got all sorts of stuff going for us. Jim's rocking a flap tail. I'm throwing a uh, Esox Assault Bucktail. So that's the plan, and we are going to try to catch a muskie here. All right, Jim and I are just getting started out here. I'm throwing, as always, when I'm up in northern Wisconsin. Double eight killer corn. Jim's got a double eight Esox Assault Fire Tiger on, and uh, we're gonna start casting some weeds here. Huh? Got a uh, dragonfly making a snack out of some other <laughs> some other bug there. Yeah. Look at that guy. Just chewing away. Huh. Well, here. Sorry about your meal, buddy. Oh, I just had a ghost follow. God. That, folks, is a ghost follow. Never saw him. Right, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, there's a nice. I just had a fish come in. He did the th same thing as the last one, though. He just he, he peeled off before I could uh, get him into the eight. Just barely saw him. It's hard in this dark water. All right, sign of life. Let's see if I can find what I need in this mess here. All right. Seen a couple fish on a bucktail, had a couple ghost follows that we saw in the locator, so. The bucktail's getting their attention, but we'll see if a navin can actually catch them. Oh, there's a fish right on. Oh, that was a nice fish, Jim. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right yeah. I saw the weeds on the bait first, and then right behind it was a nice fish. It's probably like a 40, low 40 inch fish. Bigger than anything we've seen so far. So, well, I guess we am gonna keep throwing this thing.
Oh, <laughs> oh, that was a little guy. I honestly don't know if that was a pike or a muskie, but uh, whatever it was, it was not a whole lot bigger than the bait, quite honestly. But uh, I guess at least it's something. <laughs> Fish, fish. Seems semi decent. What do we got here? Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a nice little fish. See, there's, they are a mean bunch out here. <laughs> there we go. Ah, we got one. <laughs> yes. Oh, you don't have a hook there? Yep, I got her. She just kind of, kind of eased, eased into it. Grab that. And go ahead and grab the. Uh... <laughs> yep. Go push it forward and then. This little guy, right? Oh. Okay. Push the big button. Yep. Let's see. All right. I can't get. <laughs> yes. See what, what's going on there? All right. Okay. Well, after hours and hours of casting, we finally have a nice northern Wisconsin fish. I'm guessing it's probably like an upper 30s. Maybe it'll touch 40. Oh, come on. These fish are mean out here. I tell you. I don't even think he's really hooked anymore. He's just got things wrapped around. <laughs> wow, I might just have to cut that. I have no idea what's going on. With... Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. All right, buddy. There's a nice little fish. Chunky upper 30s northern Wisconsin greenback. All right, buddy, behave for me here. What do we got? Uh, she just touches 37. All right. I will take that nice 37 inch. No, I can just, I'll just pull some still shots. I'm gonna let them go over here, I think. Oh, all right, thanks, buddy. That was very cool. Smells like a muskie. Yeah, certainly does. That's a chunky fish right there. Yeah. All right, bud. Give you the old send off here, just tensing up. There he goes. He's gonna hit your killer corn back here. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. All right, that's a start. Very cool. All right, well that one came on an Esox Assault Double Eight Gangrene. I don't throw this a ton. This is more like a Madison chain color for me, but figured I'd brighten things up a little bit, throw a little gangrene, and uh, toss my well, it's upside down, but that's the old surgical strike, nine foot, 2020 assault stick, telescopic, light as a feather, with a Tranks 400HG. So that's what we're rocking and rolling with. 
And folks, we have a musk in the boat. Very cool. Let's get another one. <laughs> oh, there's a fish, there's a fish. Yep. He came in a little low. And he looked like he peeled off. Just barely see him. Shoot. This just goes to prove you can have a nice sunset picture and catch a muskie all in the same day. Uh, I finally broke the streak, everybody. I got a muskie in the boat finally. It wasn't huge, but it was a nice, chunky little 37-incher. We've got a couple more days to fish up here in northern Wisconsin. I think the conditions are going to be good. We've got a little bit of weather coming in. Um, I love cloud cover up here. Our water temps are high 60s, low 70s, so it sets up really nice for a bucktail and topwater bite. So. That's it for tonight. We are going to head back to the cabin, dump footage, get some food, get some sleep, and have at it again tomorrow. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you on that next video.